Okay, so this tutorial is all about the blend brush. This is our lightest coverage brush. It has a very wispy end on one side and a very dense end on the other. For this wispy end, I use it for my highlight. I use it to blend my blush. For powder illuminator, it is perfect for that. For this more dense end, I actually use it for the more detailed things. It's good for contour and also for putting Bella bronzer as an eyeshadow. That's what I use this for. I will say that because it is a bit of a smaller brush, it may take, take a touch longer to apply your foundation. So let's get started. So again, I'm using this end here, tapping into my main highlight color. Now, if you are someone who has a lot of skin integrity, discoloration issues, this may not be the brush that you want to use for applying your highlight color. This would be a really, really good brush for applying your uh, color correcting though because we don't want two heavy layers on top of each other if you need that color correcting. So this might be a really good brush for this, but I am putting on that main highlight color. So finishing up this T area here and this side is so soft, you guys. It is a super soft brush. But again, the bristles are not packed in like this dense side, so it is not picking up a ton of product. Okay, so I'm gonna flip the brush and use the more dense side for my brightener shade and then I will use the wispy side here to blend all of that in. So let me blend. And then next is the contour. So I'm gonna go with this side, let's try it. Because I feel like this side, it might, maybe we'll do one of each, how about that? So if you use the small dense side, you can draw it on. If you're going to use the wispy side, I'm gonna pinch it just a little bit so that it doesn't splay out too, too much, kind of like we do with some of the other brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it pinched to initially apply it, and then I'll feather it upward. So let's start blending. So again, I feel like it's it'll take you just a little bit longer to apply because it's such a small brush. And I do think personally, I like I like the bigger end to apply the contour because there's you're already see it's already blended or it's already blended out. So maybe pinch the end to apply and then start blending. Okay. So there is that. Now this, I will say, would be a really good brush if you are headed out to the beach, to the lake, to the pool, and you don't want a lot of coverage, but you want the glow and the dimension that 3D offers. So that's it blended. Let me pick lip and cheek shade here. I will use the fluffy side to blend circular motions upward. But again, it's gonna take me just a second. Okay. And then once we get that blended out, it is a really nice blending brush. I'm gonna go back in and put a little bronzer. I usually do that one first, but let's just put a little bit of bronzer, dust it on, and dust it on. And then the final step is taking my powder illuminator and dusting 
it on. Now, I will say, I do not, I like to put the illuminator down the center of my nose, but I'm gonna use my finger or my sponge for that. So I could take like the tip of my sponge to do that. Um, I don't like to use this on the center of my nose. I will use it to dust on the tip and even maybe there, I might even use my finger for that. But now let me use my sponge just to get kind of a, a final blend. Make sure it picks up anything and everything. But again, this is a little bit lighter coverage. Although I did go that one side heavier on the contour and when blended out, it gives that nice brightness. But that is the blend brush in all its glory. Now, I usually tell you at the end of these videos, if I were using two brushes, and the second one is usually the blush bronzer brush. However, this would be the replacement for the blush bronzer brush. So if I was using two brushes, it would probably be a different brush for the highlight and the contour, so maybe the detail or maybe the powder. And then this would be my equivalent um, for the blush bronzer because it blends so well. Um, but again, I'm not so light of a coverage person with my highlight and my contour, but this one is really good for those beach days, lake days, if you want just a touch of color. So this is all things blend brush. If you have any other questions, comment below, or if you have another use for this brush that I did not share, please share with us all.